so very good afternoon to all uh, when you see resonance converter uh, the important questions which may come is like what is uh, some normal they will ask about what is resonance resonance converter and all then quasi resonance converter in this quasi there is like half wave and full wave and then last topic is multi resonance converter so today let us discuss about quasi resonance converter so just a recap uh, why we are going for uh, resonance is uh, we try to bring your voltage and current to zero and then try to do switching so in normal classical switching what we will do we will suddenly turn on or turn off what happens is uh, when voltage is in c uh, this graph is voltage this graph is voltage and this is about current see whenever you turn on what happens is voltage has to come to zero and current has to increase see, when the semiconductor devices is brought to on state which means between the say let us take mosfet uh, mosfet you have uh, source drain and gate uh, when you give a gate pulse what happens to the source to drain source to drain it is short so source to drain is short uh, current starts to flow so what it mean voltage has to come to zero when you turn on so voltage has to come to zero and simultaneously current has to come to its maximum but there is a situation where there is simultaneous existence of both v and i across the device i am not talking with respect to load and all inside that semiconductor devices at some part you will have v as well as i and this is nothing but is going to create a loss what type of loss it is in the form of heat in heat in the form of semiconductor devices already the fellow is semiconductor is not a pure conductor so already there will be some heat generation and this, now this will increase the heat generation and this leads to switching loss or that leads to stress on the switch okay so now our motive is uh, you should turn on and turn off when this fellow is coming to zero so if it is coming to zero and if you turn on or turn off if you do such things uh, one fellow will be in zero see for example turn on in this turn on condition when you bring this voltage to zero and then you are making the current to start what happens is that simultaneous existence of e and i will not be there so that is what why we go for uh, resonance that is the main motive then resonance switching add resonance component to the switch which means uh, normally we have a switch now you try to bring your resonance component resonance component is nothing but one l and one c so l suffix r is r is denoting resonance and in case of c uh, r is again denoting your resonance we all know inductor should be in series capacitor should be in parallel when you put an inductor and try to do something we call it as zc and this we call it as zv okay and we with the help of this two fellow i am trying to force the switch to turn on and turn off under either zero current or zero voltage based on the resonance it may be zero current resonance or zero voltage resonance okay now there is something called half wave and full wave half wave is see switch and diode are in the same direction of conduction so only one direction is possible thereby we declare the name called half wave <laughs> but when you connect a anti parallel diode in this case what happens normal conduction is this and reverse so both wave we try to go for resonance so that is called half wave and full wave when you come to the quasi comment is not a complete resonance cycle so resonance cycle will not be a complete it will be for only one off so that is why we call it as quasi it is not full resonance resonance is only for particular cycle and type you have both zero current switching and zero voltage switching both zero current and zero voltage and then multi resonance is possible with the help of quasi resonance okay other two we doesn't want we just leave that is like load resonance and series transition that we have already seen in last class now zero current switching quasi resonance buck converter you should always remember what is the difference between a, a buck converter and a boost converter in a boost conductor this inductor will be here switch will be here and the diode will be here i repeat in the position of switch there should be an inductor in the position of diode there should be a switch 
and in the position of l that should be a diode if you draw the circuit like that then automatically it will become boost see try to understand and uh, try to apply so when you try to understand there is no need to mug up and all so the basic fellow is here we call it as buck so there should be no fellow who is going to charge and make it as double whereas in case of boost you can see here this is v in here you will have an inductor here you will have a switch so when switch is on supply will go to inductor and this path will get closed so now again when the switch is opened here only you will have a switch if switch is open this v in plus inductor will move whereas in this case you can clearly see that this a v in when you switch on when you switch on from here v goes to inductor and then try to charge that's all when the switch is off there is no source at all only free wheeling has to take place so i cannot go beyond the input so that is called as buck okay now uh, this is a normal circuit here i am going to add a resonance fellows all this resonance fellow is nothing but an l and c you can clearly see from the switch i have put an l this is a resonance inductor and similarly i have put an capacitor here that i am calling as resonance capacitor and remaining part is same okay add a resonance inductor lr in series we see always i have told lr will be in series l c will be in parallel okay now you have four modes of operation so that is what we have to say so one is called linear state another one is called resonance state then you have recovery state and the last one is free wheeling i think we all know what is meant by free wheeling uh, see free wheeling is uh, there is no input only what is stored will be given to your output so even in your car uh, when you give an acceleration and you, your vehicle starts to pick up speed even then if you have taken leg from your uh, accelerator car will try to run this is because it has gained a momentum that gained momentum see best example uh, some way also i can prove uh, so take two object uh, go to a night uh, from that particular position try to hit the two object one object let us assume 4 kg another object let us assume 40 kg uh, from the same height with the same force see what the force i am giving to 4 kg the same force i am giving to 40 kg also uh, which will travel more distance any idea whether 4 kg or 40 kg will travel more distance the answer is 40 kg will travel more distance because acceleration is equal to mass into moment so moment i told for both i am giving same moment but what happens is mass there is variation so mass into moment becomes acceleration so the fellow who is having more mass will travel more same case depending upon this value of f the free wheeling will be there okay so free wheeling action you can clearly see that this part is totally open so nothing from v in will go here so if there is nothing traveling from here to this part so only by the capacitance this resonance capacitance charging and this charged resonance capacitance will try to uh, discharge via this uh, filter capacitance and filter inductance sorry so that is free wheeling and the linear state you are just closing the switch Uh, this this state is also uh, there is no thing special thing just you close these two inductors and capacitor come into picture and there is a literal short here short is nothing but due to short in diode so this path alone will be there this path will not be there that is linear state then resonance resonance state i have to do something and i have to make the switch to off so this resonance state only i am i have to make this l as uh, l and the cr to a uh, charge to a particular frequency and this fellow will try to initially it will first open this diode then it will try to oppose uh, opposite polarity and try to bring your voltage or current to zero whether it will be yes uh, z v r z c depending upon it will bring either voltage or current across the switch try to remember resonance is not playing anything with respect to load here we have seen resonance with respect to switch our case is only switching res quasi resonance we doesn't go for load we doesn't talk there okay so that we will try to do and we will try to make this fellow off so recovery state once the switch is off something is going to take place is recovery this fellow inductor we again will not come into picture only this c will come into picture this will try to transfer all such things to here 
then once again what will happen diode will come into picture the c will, will be totally removed okay so the transfer of the c r to this is been done in this state itself not in the state okay in this state again this diode when turned on this will be get shot so nothing from here will go here and it is only free wheeling actually free wheeling is what what is i have already stored i will try to circulate it okay so the waveform for buck z cs now zero current switching so when current comes to zero i have to do all the switching action see when current is coming to zero i am switching the action and uh, see you you can easily come to a conclusion if it is z v yes zero voltage switching uh, when you will switch whether you will switch do for t on or you will switch for t off see switching of the device will occur at two one is uh, from off to on another one is from on to off be very clear see from when you talk about z c it is turning on to off when you talk about z v s it is from off to on okay so when you say on to off see current view i try to bring the current to zero then i try to bring this condition at this condition only i am trying to do the operation switching see current i have brought to zero so once current brought to zero i can take the switching action so it was in normal state now try to bring it to maximum see when the device is brought to off voltage will regain which means take as mosfet you have drain to source initially that there is a current flow between drain to source when off what will happen the polarity of drain will slowly go to maximum and the drain potential will be maximum and source potential will be zero so drain to source there is a potential difference which means now switch is off or the semiconductor is in now a pure insulator so that is what is you can see here from zero it has been brought to maximum value so now if, if the switch is in pakka off condition so all this has taken place after the current has come to zero so there is no switching loss there is no simultaneous existence of voltage and current so the interval t2 to t3 is the place where the resonance and occurred then comes your last fellow who is called as free wheeling so free wheeling will be there uh, what we are showing is an off wave transistor has only forward current reverse current we will not talk then in full wave both the current we will talk about forward and reverse current so again the switching take place you can see here current goes to negative and then come so see you can see the current wave form has both positive and negative so that is why we call it as full wave so here the current comes to zero then only i am trying to start my operation so t2 to t3 then slowly this fellow will recover and come to maximum value from t3 to t4 it is like a free wheeling action so there is total time period of t0 to t1 t1 to t2 t2 to t3 and t3 to t4 okay so linear stage is the first stage so you can see here it is the time period between t0 to t1 then resonance is t1 to t2 then t2 to t3 and t3 to t4 okay when the switch is, is turned on at t is equal to 0 free wheeling diode df is still conducting and the load current i not through lf in the previous stage all all this thing what i have told the voltage across the voltage across lr is therefore equal to v in the input current i lr rises linearly and it is governed by the state equation lr di dlr by dt c i have already told you have to talking with respect to z c okay then this way that the current rises linearly from zero makes turn on loss small and consider as a zero current switching the sum of c initial state what we say here is so here so here uh, there is no gate pulse there is no current so this part is already uh, taking place without any issue so current rising doesn't take any issue because after uh, this voltage as reaches then only this will do and that is what we say okay that is what the first state and the second is resonance state if we know that z is equal to square root of lr by cr and the frequent omega is angular term will be 1 by root of lr lc so that is what the the derivation says 
and with this condition is occurred we call that condition to be the resonance and the when you talk in zcs you have to say that current is brought to zero when you talk about ezv you have to say voltage is brought to zero okay how this is brought to zero with this omega r is equal to root of lc so under this condition if this condition occurs when this condition will occur if you are operating in that particular frequency if you are operating at that particular frequency this will occur and if this occurs either voltage or current will be brought to zero okay then the resonance duration is dt2 that is they will call a lang alpha lies between pi 2 3 pi by 2 for half wave and for full wave it is between 3 by by 2 to 2 pi so in between you will have this resonance condition okay for the half wave mode because there is a diode in series with the transistor the current cannot be reversed this was the first diagram i showed in case of half wave full wave one if you want just i will go back to that particular slide and then we will come back okay so i am now what we are discussing is this particular so this we are saying this is in series and this is in parallel so that is what they say here for half wave because there is a diode in series with the transistor the current cannot be reversed therefore when the resonance current starts to enter the negative of the diode stop the conduction so automatically it will stop and that waveform will not go to negative for full wave a diode is connected in parallel with transistor when the tra resonance current charges to negative the diode conduct during this time the transistor can be turned off so that when resonance current cannot be conducted again when lr returns to negative value so that is what we have seen uh, the boundary condition is there a condition at which this resonance will occur then last stage we call it as uh, recovery see sorry this is the third one which is called recovery state uh, that is the charge transfer state and then we will say the boundary condition also for this and then finally we go for free wheeling the output current free wheels through the diode df the duration is ds minus dt1 dt2 minus dt3 this ds is the duration of switching cycle uh, only in this stage you talk about the fellow called load because load decides the free wheeling so if there is a resistance um, based upon the resistance only the discharge will take place because there is no source only what is been stored is now discharging in this state so the person who is going to decide will be r okay the condition for zgh is resonance current must reach is zero so that switch can be turned off during this particular time so this is the condition for zero current switching again just a repetition they say i am just showing the graph so when this current comes to zero your voltage starts to rise and then your output also will be in such a case that no this is slowly it will reach and it will reach the maximum value and this is for half wave so in half wave this will not go to negative why this is not going to negative because diode is in series so when diode in series it will not allow we can the diode will conduct only if the switch is conducting so there won't be any negative whereas you here you can see there was a diode parallel so that makes the entire stored inductor charge to be pulled out so this is more efficient so they will go to negative and try to pull out and then bring it to zero so then your rise will be very fast and the waveform is also little bit uh, both sign as well as your tracing of input is there okay then analysis i have told uh, final stage depends upon r so for various r you, there will be the graph will change so that is what we say then the output voltage this is just the same we have just copied and we are showing here so this is with respect to full wave and the instant when current zero the voltage is also zero both the fellows are zero current as well as voltage so you can go for your action that is there won't be any switching loss conclusion the buck zcs quasi resonant converter is one of the famous resonant converter for many power conversion application uh, you should come to know why i am saying buck is uh, we are going for only power electronics in power electronics you use buck or boost converter maximum okay other converters is is only a slight change when you say buck boost it will operate both in buck as well as in boost flyback similarly then chuck 
similarly sepik is also similar okay so chook sepik and bug boost all these three converters either it can be operated in buck mode or it can be operated in boost mode so when you want clearly understand about the buck and boost then the remaining all converters it is a combination of this two converter alone combination of buck converter and boost converter okay now i i will just show for the boost converter also so this is a boost converter uh, now don't confuse with this diode i am mentally putting this diode here just to say that uh, if there is some resonances occurring there is a chance for reverse flow to the source and that should not occur so reverse flow to the source we will not allow and especially if you are giving input from solar then if there is any reverse flow to the solar panel again it will be generated in form of heat because solar panel is nothing but a diode connected in forward bias so assume that even solar panel you have a diode like this in forward bias and if there is any reverse flow what will happen now that that solar panel will become reverse bias and this reverse flowing will try to eat your diode and that may if it is prolonging then it will may damage so wherever you see any paper on solar this diode will be there okay they call this diode just for the protection purpose so don't misguide with this now our part is only with respect to this and the diagram which i have shown here is for full wave okay quasi with the full wave so similarly we are showing here the similar wave form and here also you have four intervals so interval 1 uh, interval 2 interval 3 and interval 4 so interval 1 similar way the name you can give the same name it is linear here you can see here there is no nothing like any special only linear reaction is taking place then what we have seen interval 2 is the resonance fellow will come into picture so lr and cr will come into picture these two will play in resonance and the third one is recovery so recovery uh, the, we will transfer something to the final fellow from the cr we are transferring so even for buck you can draw the simplified circuit like this or you circuit with respect to explaining the circuit of the setup so this is a simple way of right see what i have explained above the same okay interval interval 3 what we told recovery what mean by recovery uh, from what the cr that has to be transferred to the load and final stage no need to show any circuit because there is no nothing from source nothing from inductor it is only free wheeling is taking place free wheeling purely depends upon load that you have to understand uh, if a resistance is i which means free wheeling will take place for a shorter duration if the diode sorry if the load resistance is small free wheeling will take for longer duration again based upon one more thing also it will be there like switching frequency if you are operating at very high switching frequency then load will not to the load it will not go to discontinuous mode if the frequency is less it will go to discontinuous mode okay so that is what for today's um just i will give a something a brief about uh, if we say this fellow is so good then why you want to put a next topic in the syllabus the next topic in the syllabus which is given as a uh, multi resonance uh, okay just i will give a clue uh, i have given a task for you the task says about your uh, assignment that you can do it on this weekend that is nothing but uh, what is the problem with the quasi and how this quasi problem is been overcome the problem of quasi is overcome by the fellow called multi resonance converter okay so that is for today uh, just i just i will stop the video and then we will continue